Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to talk about Defender for Office 365, right? So I'm going to make a video specifically for email and collaboration settings, right? So which is available or which is a part of Defender for Office 365, right? And I'm going to talk each of those settings, which is pretty straightforward to configure and there are some of the addition or additional settings that I also am going to show you, right? So majorly those settings which I wanted to talk about, including user reported settings, user tags, that's one of the new capability that was added along with priority account protection, Microsoft Teams protection and MDO automation settings, right? So these are the different settings which are available for us for email and collaboration, right? So that's within the Defender portal, right? And we would go ahead and configure it, right? To make sure we wanted to protect the priority accounts for those accounts which are on the VIP users across the organization. Along with, we can simply create a different tags and create those tags or assign those tags on those different users. And those accounts would be flagged and considered as a priority accounts across the organization. For example, CTO, CFO, or head of any specific department or organizations. And we wanted to make sure those accounts gets the additional layer of security, right? So that those accounts are not easy to compromise or get into the systems with those accounts credentials, because those are the people who have a lot of confidential information. And if, any account or any such accounts gets hacked or has access to such accounts to the or by the attackers or bad actors then it's going to be a very big mess for the company or for the business overall right and that is why we can simply classify those accounts and definitely be make sure those accounts are protected as well right so let's jump on and before that I'll request you to like this video so that people who can see and who are around you so that they can also know and also share this video with your people, friends and people around you so that they can also learn it and because learning is never going to be stopped, right? So that should be the first priority in your career as well as in the whole life, right? And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well so that you get to see every new video whenever it is uploaded, right? All right, so let me share my screen and we would start from the beginning. All right, so here I'm on Defender portal, right? And you can see a bunch of settings over here, but I'm going to show you how we can come to this page or this setting page from the beginning. So let's go back to home page, And from here, you would see the home page looks like this one, right? You would see all the different cards over here, including secure score, device compliance, along with features. Those are part of threat intelligence. Right, along with users at risk, attack simulation training, sentinel integrations that we can do, right? And then action center analytics, along with ITDR deployment health, if we have deployed that one, along with active incidents for the whole tenant or organization. And at the last, we have connected SaaS applications, right? So this is a complete dashboard or at the home screen, we can say. And, but the setting that I'm going to go and talk about is at the end here from the left navigation pane, you just have to scroll it down towards the end of this pane and click on settings. Once you click on it, you would see a bunch of other options over here, including Defender Portal, Defender XDR, Endpoints, Email and Collaboration, Identities, Cloud Apps, and Microsoft Sentinel. So I'm going to talk more on Email and Collaboration Right. Even I am going to make a separate videos on all other different options or settings over here. But for now, in this video, I'm going to talk more on email and collaboration, right? Because that's something we or any business don't want to miss out any configurations. And that is must there, right? So let's click on it. Once we click on it, we would come over here under the user tags. So this is the by default options or way we can see and there are other options as well so let's say 
user reported settings i have created one of the separate video for user reported settings right you can go and watch around it and you can ask any questions if you have any right so this is something which we can configure and customize for those emails whenever any user reports any email something like phishing or junk or not spam and all those emails be landed into the submissions within the defender portal over here right and then we as an it pros it admins would be able to take actions right either we wanted to uh, submit it to microsoft for additional remediations and validations if not then we can go ahead and validate and check that email senders and everything together and if we have a separate SOC team they can also go ahead and do that and if there is any orchestration configurations with sim and SOAR capabilities like azure sentinel right then that's going to be well and good because that's going to do everything for us and we as an it pros our SOC team does not have to do much on that side and that's simply going to uh, validate all those emails and check if that email was phishing and what kind of that email was right so that is something that has a lot to talk about but so definitely uh this this is something which we can configure and make it customizable right so next one is user tags right so the main goal or topic of this video was to show you how we can make the accounts very important on or classify our uh, classify those accounts as a priority accounts right so here we have user tags and you can see i have created these two tags and this is the default tag that microsoft is created right so this is being created automatically and if we wanted to add any user to this we can simply go ahead and edit this one and add any accounts to this tag so all those accounts will be added and considered as a priority account and priority account has additional layer of security from each and every layer be it connection filters be it uop filters all those uop filters would have additional layers to protect that account along with all other capabilities of defender suite right also we can create customized tags over here you can see that i have created a ceo ce cto and I'll show you another one. Let's say I wanted to create for CFO. So I'll just create one and probably I can give a description as well, right? So that, that is easy for anyone within the team or anyone who is working on a security bits, right? They would be able to identify it. Once done, click next. Over here, we can either import any users from CSV file. If we have that bunch of users we wanted to add if not simply click on add button and you can simply uh, search any user account or probably just search that account and hit that add button over there once it is added it is going to be added over here and you should be good to click next and at the end under the summary you will see everything that is configured and hit the submit button so once that is done it is going to simply create the tag along with we have added one user to it and it is going to then classify basis on the the policies and permissions that we are going to assign the tag now there is a capability as well where we can add these tags to the policies as well where wherever we have very aggressive and straightforward policy which is going to keep checking the user's actions, user capabilities, or what are the permissions user has, right? So those are the default policies like preset and preset standard, right? Preset restricted and preset standard. So these are the policies where we can assign these tags and make sure these are the users who gets very high level security on their accounts, right? So this way we can protect these private priority accounts right you can see that i have created this one cfo tag you can see there is one user and you can see created and last modified or last updated date time right so this way it is going to be pretty straightforward to make sure and manage it and the next one is priority account protection so this is the 
capability wherever or whenever we create tags we should have enabled this capability as well otherwise these tags won't be effectively working as expected right and this is the protection that is going to be enabled and wanted to make sure uh, it delivers the additional layer of security to all those priority accounts so it's just on and off or yes and no right so this way it is going to be uh, enabled for the whole tenant the next is teams protection right so teams protection which is a part of jap right and over here we would see zero our auto purge for microsoft teams right so we had heard or we know that there were many phishing attempts on teams as well people or anyone who used to ping any user and ask to open any apk file or any file and those were the kind of phishing messages right and that is why this is the capability which is going to keep checking each and every chat of the users be it internal or a bit coming from internal or external and make sure users communication is safe right and if it finds anything that has fishy or something which is simply not right it is going to simply be removing all that content and files and data right so it is going to protect team chats and channels using a retroactive content scanning and then it's going to remove it right so definitely this is something which has a lot to offer even we have quarantine policies for the same which these are the default policies you can see but we can go ahead and assign custom policies if we have created one right so those can be created also if we wanted to exclude any user group or specific domain right so even that is also possible over here by excluding all of that over here <clears throat> And once we are good, we can go ahead and save it, right? Okay, all right. All right, so yeah, so these are the options where we can go ahead and exclude users or groups or full domain itself, right? So next one is MDO automation settings, right? So this is pretty new capability and it runs on automation, right? Here you can see that this is a complete automation setting and you can uh, read out a bit of description so that you can understand it what it does and how it is going to take actions on what level so what it says is specify which messages will be automatically remediated any actions that are not automatically completed will be marked as pending actions messages sent to reporting mailbox will not be included in automation right so basically it is going to run automated investigation and response on the messages. And here you can see that there are automatically remediated malicious messages in these similar clusters. If those emails as well as files and documents are classified and flagged as malicious, and then it is going to consider and put into the cluster and consider as those are malicious and those would be blocked or deleted, right? Here's the option, which is a remediation action, which is going to be soft deleting from user's mailbox, right? So this is going to be deleting all those mailboxes, uh, not mailboxes, but the documents and files or anything that is fishy or spam. And the system is finding that is not really a correct way. So this is a soft delete, right? So it is going to delete from user mailbox and is going to put into the quarantine in the backend, right? So from there, 
definitely SOC team or security team can go ahead and validate and check and run their due diligence. And then probably if there is a request for release that email, those emails would be delivered or released to the end user's mailbox. Right. So this is the whole setting that I wanted to talk about and show you how we can go ahead and configure. So you can see that these are checked. These are not automatically checked in, right? So this setting remains unconfigured or unset. And if we can, if in case we wanted to configure it, then we have to select these check boxes. And then this remediation action, which is a soft delete is going to be enabled automatically upon any of these options selected, right? And basis on that, we can simply go ahead and hit that save button to configure. And once it is saved, that means the configuration is saved and it's ready to go. All right, so yeah, that's all. So that's all I wanted to talk about and show you across email and collaboration with Independent for Office 365, right? So yeah, that's all for this video. Hope you like it. Hope you learn something new about it. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel as well. And make sure, uh, share this video with your friends and people around you so that they can also learn. So yeah, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.